No, that'll make a big mess. You can have some with dinner. Kim here, homeschooling mom 24 and chaos coordinator since 2009. We are gonna celebrate Mardi Gras tonight. So far all day today, all the kids have gotten to have two cookies after every meal. I pretty much have said yes to all the sugar. They've had popsicles. It's a gorgeous, like close to 70 some degrees outside. It's been a beautiful day. And right now we're making a quick and easy, so much noise in the kitchen. We're making a quick and easy king's cake. Jeremy's making, are you making gumbo? I'm trying to, well, it's going to be a quick gumbo. We're getting ready for Lent tomorrow. Editor Kim here. A friend who came to the party asked why we celebrated Mardi Gras. Like, what was the point? And I know the historical reasoning, but I got to thinking about it. And if I'm going to expect the kids to participate in the harder parts of our faith, such as Lent and doing extra things and giving things up, then I want the fun parts to be equally as engaging. So it kind of balances things out. So Ash Wednesday is, is, is a little rough, but kind of make up for it by having a really awesome Mardi Gras. One thing we are preparing for is I found a really large t-shirt at Walmart and Samantha cut them all up so they'll fit over and cover all of our statues and crucifixes around the house. Eh, eh, see? All right, making an easy king's cake. We got three of these we're laying them on their side yeah i'm gonna hide a little baby that we have in one of, the cracks. In one of these cracks and then we're gonna bake it and cover it with all the icing and sprinkles yay turn away don't look i won't, I won't, I won't even it or i will make gonna... sure i don't All right, we got one family here waiting on another one. This is the spread we got. Check out all the color. What do we got? We got peaches, madrin oranges, regular oranges, peppers, cucumbers, strawberries. We're about to decorate this gooey goodness. Green. These three, I think, no blue. Yeah. Beautiful, taste the rainbow. Look at that. And we're still waiting on the, what is it again? Gumbo. Gumbo, it's looking so good, so colorful. Some brown rice. Yeah. Not quite. Uh, uh, no, that'll make a big mess. You can have some with dinner. Put it down. Yes, yes you can have it with dinner. Yeah. That is chunks. Dinner was amazing and well worth the wait. We had brown rice with it and so many desserts. There was ice cream and ice cream sandwiches, cheesecake bites, king's cake. And the king's cake was kind of fun because everybody got one piece. And it got to the point where we had two pieces left and nobody had found the baby yet. And I was a little worried that maybe the baby had melted and somebody ate it by accident. So I had to dig through the last two pieces and sure enough, one piece still had it. And there was one person left to get a piece. He had a 50-50 chance and Thomas got it. And he won the $5 prize for finding the baby. He was thrilled and did not eat the king's cake, but did devour an ice cream sandwich. After that, we went outside and roasted more sugar, I mean marshmallows, had s'mores, and finish off the night just talking by the fire and on the couch about potty training. But it was good. It was a good night. So the kids have been going down to the slough a lot and I decided to come down and see what they've been working on. So you can hear behind me, water. there's lots of water. Ah. Right behind our house, this little area. Ash Wednesday. <laughs> this video was right after dinner and it had been a rough day. Usually I get out of uh, the whole fasting thing because I'm pregnant or nursing and uh, not this year. It was a tough year. <laughs> Intermittent fasting is a thing. I can do it for a day. So Genevieve has created a little hammer out of what? What, did you, what are you using as a hammer? Cats are joining us. And there's a little flag they made. Samantha found an ornament, so she hung that up. I guess they like to go across. I don't know what that is. I would have loved a place like this to play in growing up. I hope your Lent has been going as well as ours, preparing for Easter. It was my birthday yesterday, and I got a really awesome present. Happy birthday! I'll explain next week. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. The important part is to learn from them. God bless. You.